M A B E H Muppet. Come one, come all. You're just in time for an art amazing experience. Welcome to art amazing class. I am Sir Alfredo Amor, your art teacher. Hello and welcome to today's episode. Join me as we continue our colorful and historic journey through the arts. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's have a look at the following. First, I will show you the photos of the great artworks created during the ancient times. Are you looking forward to seeing them? Let's get started! Before we explore our new topic in Grade 7 Arts, Let's have first a quick review of our previous lesson. Directions. As I flash the pictures, identify the name of the arts and craft from the Visayas group of islands. You have 5 seconds to answer each item. And when you hear the sound, that means your time is up. Now, grab your pen and paper and let's begin. Let us now check your answers. The correct answers are For number 1, Hablon For number 2, Patadyong And number 3, Pagrara It seems that all of you got the correct answers. Good job guys! I know you had a wonderful learning experience with the Visayas group of islands, arts and crafts. But wait! There's more to learn. I'm sure you are as excited as I am. So get ready to be captivated by the artistic world of today's lesson entitled External and Internal Influences that are Reflected in the Design of Artwork. Let's go! At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Identify the different artworks that have internal and external influences in the design of artworks. Discuss the external and internal influences that are reflected in the design of an artwork. Before we get started on the lesson, Let's try to answer the following questions. Here is what you should do. Directions. Read and understand the sentences. Identify and write the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. Please remember that you only have 10 seconds to answer each question. And that when you hear this sound, your time is up. Go, get your pen and paper. Let's begin. Number 1. It is built with white coral rock and is considered as one of the most beautiful churches in the Philippines. A. Miagao Church B. Molo Church C. Plaza Quartel and D. The Ruins Number 2. This church is famous for its artistic sculptural relief carved in the facade that stands as the living legacy of rich culture and illustrates the way of life of the people of Miagao, anchored in a strong foundation of Christian faith. A. Miagao Church B. 
Molo Church, C. Plaza Quartel, and D. The Ruins. Number 3. The Ruins in Talisay, Negros Occidental, is an example of Blanc, built by a wealthy hacendero for his Portuguese wife in the early 1900s. A. Baroque Architecture B. Gothic Inspired C. Romanist Architecture and D. Neoclassical Architecture Number 4. This church epitomizes European architecture with its high, pointed bell towers and has hollow interiors, high ceilings, as well as pointed arches. A. Molo Church B. Plaza Quartel C. Puerto Princesa Cathedral and D. The Ruins Number 5. It is a historic park in Puerto Princesa City with a tragic past. It was once a Spanish barracks that was seized by the Americans and then became a Japanese detachment during World War II. A. Molo Church B. Plaza Quartel C. Puerto Princesa Cathedral and D. The Ruins That's all class. Just keep your answers and we will check it later. As part of our lesson, let us be familiarized of the following terms. Influence. This refers to the design of an artwork or artifacts that have internal or external inspirations. And UNESCO stands for United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. Let's move on to the next topic. Watch and listen to the following video and be impressed by the one-of-a-kind and historic artworks found exclusively in the Philippines, which have both internal and external influences. Let's go! The Philippines is home to wonderful structures built during the pre-Hispanic and colonial era. There are so many provinces in the country that have world-class antique buildings recognized by UNESCO. Palawan and Puerto Princesa are blessed with so many astonishing structures that show exceptional features with incomparable architectural values. Architecture when the Spaniards first set foot in the Visayas Islands, they introduced the Catholic religion and used it to gain the trust of the people. They built churches that helped propagate their faith. Mola Church in Iriilo depicts the fusion of Gothic and Renaissance styles, the spars of the two towers of the church, and the interior elements such as the altar and the pulpits show the Gothic characteristics of the church. It is built with a white coral rock and is considered as one of the most beautiful churches in the Philippines. It is said that this is a women's church because of the 16 women saints inside. Its patron saint is Saint Anne, the mother of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Medaw Church in Iloilo is an example of Baroque Romanesque architecture that shows through its massive quality, thick walls, round arches, sturdy piers, gruen vaults, 
large towers, and decorative arcades. It is famous for its artistic sculptural relief carved in the facade of the church that stands as the living legacy of rich culture and illustrates the way of life of the people of Miagao, anchored in a strong foundation of Christian faith. It is also acclaimed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The ruins in Talisay Negros Occidental is an example of neoclassical architecture built by a wealthy hacendero for his Portuguese wife in the early 1900s. The mansion was burned during World War II, leaving behind the concrete structure that stands to this day. The design is elegant and the color changes from white to gray and orange to red as the sunset touches the structure. Puerto Princesa Cathedral One of the grandest and outstanding structures in Puerto Princesa City is the Immaculate Conception Cathedral. Its history could be traced back to 1872 when Spanish missionaries celebrated Puerto Princesa City's very first mass in the same place where it presently stands. The cathedral epitomizes European architecture with its high-pointed bell towers. It has hollow interiors, high ceilings, as well as pointed arches. Religious sculptures intricately designed the interior where the old statue of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception abodes. Plaza Cortel is a historic part with a dreadful past. Plaza Cortel in Puerto Princesa City operated as a Spanish barracks that was seized by the Americans and later became a Japanese detachment during World War II, where several American soldiers were burned alive towards the end of the war. Today, Plaza Cortel is restored into a national historic site. That concludes our lesson for today. I hope you enjoy the topic. Let us now check if you learned something. As your first activity, grab a pen and paper and answer the let's practice questions. Directions Identify the place where the following architectural structures are situated. Write your answers on your activity notebook. You have two minutes to provide the answer. Architectural Artworks Artifacts Number 1. Molo Church Number 2. Megao Church Number 3. The Ruins Number 4. Puerto Princesa Cathedral Number 5. Plaza Quartel.
Time is up. Let's check your answers. The answers are the following. Number 1, Molo Church is located in Iloilo. Number 2, Migao Church can also be found in Iloilo. Number 3, The Ruins is in Bacolod. For number 4 and 5, The Puerto Princesa Cathedral and Plaza Quartel are both located in Puerto Princesa City, Palawan. Let's see how well you answer the questions. Your score of 4 or 5 is commendable. If you only got 3 or less, you can practice answering the table again later. Let us now proceed to the next activity entitled Design and Influence. Directions Fill in the table with the internal and external influences or design of architectural artworks or artifacts. Fill in the blanks on the right column of your answer papers with your choices. I will give you 3 minutes to complete the table. Ballpen is up. Let us now check your answers. For Molo Church, the design of the Molo Church portrays the fusion of Gothic and Renaissance styles. For Miagao Church, the design of Miagao Church is an example of Baroque Romanist architecture. For the ruins, the design of the ruins is an example of neoclassical architecture. For the Puerto Princesa Cathedral, the design of the Puerto Princesa Cathedral epitomizes European architecture with its high, 
pointed bell towers. For the Plaza Quartel, the design of Plaza Quartel is patterned to the Spanish barracks. I hope you got all the correct answers. Before we proceed to let's sum it up, I have a question for all of you to ponder. What do you think is the importance of giving value to the historic architectural formations in the country? Let's now move on to another exciting activity entitled Complete Me. Directions Read each item thoroughly. Identify the missing word on the appropriate line to complete the paragraph. Write your answer on your answer sheets. Number 1. Molo Church in Iloilo depicts the fusion of Gothic and Blanc styles. The spars of the two towers of the church and the interior elements such as the altar and the pulpits show the Gothic characteristics of the church. Number 2. Megao Church is famous for its artistic blank, carved in the facade of the church that stands as the living legacy of rich culture and illustrates the way of life of the people of Megao. Number 3. The design of the ruins is very blank, and the color changes from white to gray and orange to red as the sunset touches the structure. Number 4. Puerto Princesa Cathedral has hollow interiors with its high ceiling as well as pointed arches. Religious Blanc intricately designed the interior where the old statue of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception abodes. Number 5. Plaza Quartel is a historic park with a dreadful past where several American soldiers were burned alive towards the end of World War II. Today, Plaza Quartel is restored into a blank site. Thumbs up! Let us now check your answers. The answer for number one is Renaissance. Number two is Sculptural Relief. Number three is Elegant. Or number four is Sculptures. And number five is National Historic. I hope that all of you got the correct answers. At this juncture, we will now move on to our last activity. Get ready for our final test. Directions Read and understand the following sentences. Write the correct answer on your answer sheet. Number 1. It is built with white coral rock and is considered as one of the most beautiful churches in the Philippines. A. Megao Church B. Molo Church C. Plaza Quartel D. The Ruins Number 2. This church is famous for its artistic sculptural relief carved in the facade that stands as the living legacy of rich culture and illustrates the way of life of the people of Megao, anchored in a strong foundation of Christian faith. A. Megao Church B. Molo Church C. Plaza Quartel and D. The Ruins Number 3. The Ruins in Talisay Negros Occidental is an example of Blanc, built by a wealthy Hacendero for his Portuguese wife in the early 1900s. A. Baroque Architecture B. Gothic inspired, letter C, Romanist architecture, and letter D, Neoclassical architecture. Number 4. 
This church epitomizes European architecture with its high pointed bell towers and has hollow interiors, high ceilings, as well as pointed arches. A. Molo Church B. Plaza Quartel Letter C. Puerto Princesa Cathedral and D. The Ruins Number 5. It is a historic park with a dreadful past in Puerto Princesa City, operated as a Spanish barracks that was seized by the Americans and later became a Japanese detachment during World War II. A. Molo Church B. Plaza Quartel Letter C. Puerto Princesa Cathedral And Letter D. The Ruins Time is up. Let us now check your answers. The answers are Number 1. Letter B Number 2. Letter A Number 3. Letter D Number 4. Letter C And number 5. Letter B Amazing! You have shown mastery over today's lesson. Keep doing great class. Please submit your answers or activity notebook to your teacher. Students, congratulations! You completed the task on this episode. I am your arts teacher saying don't forget to be art amazing with a heart. Thank you for tuning in to Princessa TV. See you again in our next episode.